Hello, Eric, and welcome to the Nordic Data Science and Machine Learning Summit. It's great that we have you today with us. Um, and congratulations on the session that you just delivered. So before we dive into further questions, can you please tell us more about your background and the area of expertise? Uh, well, before I worked at King for two years, mm -hmm. uh, I started at King doing my master thesis. Um, it was called Crushing Candy Crush, mm -hmm. using simulation methods to uh, play Candy Crush, something like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And um, it was uh, on uh, basically using something called Monte Carlo Tree Search to play Candy Crush. Since then, I have worked at King with similar things related to creating bots in Candy Crush. And prior to that, I was studying computer science at KDH, as well as uh, industrial engineering and management. I uh, did my... Um, my focus of my computer science degree was on machine learning. Great, very impressive though. So you are working in the I team at King and in your, in your job and your research thesis, you use quite a lot of deal of I, you know, predicting the difficulty across game levels um, and using general I algorithms. So can you tell us more about this for the viewers? Oh, um, it's a very broad topic, <laughs> yes. but um, so basically at King, there is a lot of value in um, getting an understanding of new levels and the way games behave. Mm -hmm. And this is something that we like to have without necessarily waiting for humans to play them. Mm -hmm. So this is where we uh, try to build uh, agents that play the games for us. So a typical example and what we talked about here today is basically that we want to know um, that our games or our levels are the right balance between fun and engaging. And uh, in order to do that we create a agent that plays the game and uh, based on that agent how it behaves compared to our players, we can get an estimate of uh, how it, um, uh, how the game would be perceived from a human. Mm -hmm. Okay, so during your presentation, you mentioned um, deep learning as yes. well, uh, to, um, uh, to predict players' actions. Yes. Uh, how accurate is this prediction? So, um, what happens is basically if you have a state in Candy Crush, what we do is we uh, send this state, a representation of it, to our neural network mm -hmm. and using supervised learning from our players we can predict with um, about 50% accuracy what move a human will choose in a specific state. Now 50% not, might not sound particularly high but uh, as a matter of fact the number of states in Candy Crush that are decisive meaning that in short so in Candy Crush there's a lot of moves or a lot of states where no particular action is necessarily better than another one mm -hmm. so that creates an issue basically because no matter how accurate your algorithm is the base error is not necessarily very high mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so due to this uh, we need um, well that's basically just an explaining. So, so our accuracy is around 50%, but we believe that to be pr pretty high, actually. Well, um, I so much hype these days. Um, and uh, concerning this, especially your industry, what would be some of the challenges that I faces? So... In, in its application, in this industry? challenges of AI, well, that is also a very broad question, <laughs> but uh, I would say that, so there's a lot of talk about AI and mm -hmm. I think that the key is finding problems that you can apply AI to and also the problems themselves need to, there, there has to be a, a value of actually solving them. Um, I mean, of course, but I think um, there is more to that than you might think from the initial get-go because 
So you need some type of, you need enough understanding about the algorithms, but you also need to combine that with the knowledge about the specific field or the business. And this together, only through knowing both fields, you can actually know where to apply uh, the AI algorithms. Now there's a lot of things happening in our field, um, gaming, like in terms of content creation, um, using guns and similar algorithms. But um, I have not yet uh, seen anything that um, proves uh, um, too promising in that field. Mm -hmm. Okay, one last question, Eric. Um, three main hypes in this summit, so machine learning, artificial intelligence and data science. Yes. Where do you see its future, in the nearest future? <sighs> What to expect in the next? Well, I think that content creation is a big part. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, and that was try kind of the, the idea we wanted to convey with our talk, that we want to minimize the redundant work mm -hmm. for our creative people in order to allow them to be creative. So I think that is what we'll see happening going into the future. and. Hopefully, um, it will not end up with people losing their jobs, but allowing us to create better products and more interesting art. Perfect. Eric, thank you very much. It was a pleasure having you with us at the Nordic Data Science oh, thank and you. Machine Learning Summit. Thanks.